Well, hello, Virgo and Taurus. Welcome to Send the Moon Goddess channel. We are here today to do your readings for your love. Let me say that again. We're here today to do your love reading for February of 2024, the love month. All right, spirit. I think I'm ready now. <laughs> All right, we doing this for Virgo and Taurus spirit. Virgo and Taurus. Virgo and Taurus. I don't know what's going on with y'all, but these cards is really tight. They were tight earlier, too. So I don't know if you guys don't want me to know what's going on here. Oh, I saw a peek of two of those cards. Wow. All right. We're going to us. Now, before we get started, please, if you can, subscribe to Send the Moon Goddess channel. Hit the button on the right. That way you'll be notified when we, we upload your each of your monthly Readings. I don't know what's wrong. All of a sudden, I can't talk. And also, when I do your love read monthly readings. Okay. Now, first of all, y'all need to be listening. Okay. And I'm here. It's saying not just listening to each other, but listening, listening to what is not being said, and listening to what's being said. All right. Now, I'm thinking of you. That's what I'm hearing you guys saying. When you're away from each other, you're always thinking about each other. All right? Your eyes are enchanting. I hear that's coming from Taurus. I want you to love me for who I am. So that has to be Virgo. Now, you guys are so mates. You're supposed to be together. So, it's going to be some renewal and some peace. But usually that comes after something happens, right? Now, the angels are guiding you and protecting you, okay? They also want you guys to manifest your miracles, your dreams, okay? Manifest. All right, let's get started. Mm, some news is coming in. Huh? Yeah, it's some good news. Some of you, it could be about um, um, a new job. Others of you, it could be about a new home. Meaning couples, okay. One of you might it be. It could be both of you getting new jobs, but someone might be celebrating getting a raise or a new job, but I do see um, stability, so um, that might be the new job, but it also could be a new place. You've been working hard, and, and I'm here, and that's why you're getting this new job. Now, some of you might even lose your job this month, okay? But that's because, or you might even quit because there's no teamwork. It's about teamwork, okay? But but you're set, so don't worry. You're set. I, I'm hearing you're set because you're getting to get this new position. We well, definitely got to clarify that. Wow. Okay, there is some jealousy, some demanding going on in the relationship. Now, they can, it, especially if you're married, I'm seeing one, one of you, Taurus could be thinking, Virgo, you are seeing other, other people. Or Taurus, are you being too bossy? You going okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, and read some of these cards. 
Taurus spirit. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, see, you're going to get a message that's going to make you happy. And I, I really believe this is, is about money. So it could be this new position. Or it could be that a new addition to the family. Yeah, it's definitely more money coming in. It's definitely more money coming in. So either you got a big raise or you got um, uh, a new position. Because it's going to be, you're going to get the news. They saying you don't even realize it when they, what, what I'm saying. <laughs> but if you listen to your intuition, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> they say you already know you're not listening. <laughs> yeah, see, you're gonna get news about about this uh, this home or place that you wanted. You have been fearing that you might not get it, but now you got all this energy. You have all this energy because now you you realize that you guys got it. This is this is soulmate. Soulmate, definitely soulmate material. All right? So and even if you guys are, are not married and you're not living together, you might be thinking about moving in together. Yeah, you guys got a lot of passion going on this month. Mm. See, some, something's got to end this month. You're going to have to let go. Um, you're going to have something that's got to be let go of. And then that way you can walk into your abundance. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what that tower is about. That that your, your intuition is telling you to let go. Uh, let go. Maybe it's the job or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a friend because we do have the jealousy card. So maybe it's a friend and you don't want the you, you stand in your ground way too hard, they think. And you're not listening to other people or, or your partner. The three of cups. Yeah, you stand in your ground way too, too much. You might even be partying too much. Is this what this is? Yeah. Whatever this was, you guys are going to be okay. You're going to heal from it. Your relationship is going to, it keeps saying it's going up a level. Okay. Yep, your love is just moving up. Okay, so it like it could be a little hiccup. It could be that you guys disagree on on where to move, or should you take this new position because you're gonna be working more. They saying you guys need more communication. Some somebody is holding back something. Seven of Pentacles. You guys have been re working really hard on your relationship. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Thank you. Yeah. That's why you're going to be celebrating. Because you guys have been really working hard on your, on your relationship. On your goals. So it's going to be a renewal. As I said at the beginning. You, you guys are going to be together. Either you're going to be asked to marry. If you're already married, you're just moving up a level. I don't know. Let's do this tower first, spirit, please. I didn't see this tower come.
Hmm. Now, if if you guys are engaged, they're saying to be patient about the the um, date. Be you know, go with the flow. Hmm. Well, it looks like somebody did try really hard. Try to uh, um, try to come between you guys. <laughs> Sounds weird. <laughs> this, one of these people tried really hard to come between you guys. I mean, they tried hard. They tried everything they possibly could. <clears throat> they tried very hard. But it didn't work. Because remember, you guys are being guided and protected. So, <clears throat> you guys are going to be challenged. Your relationship is going to be challenged this month. And it could be jealousy for a reason. Okay. And what's going on with this man? Of these two herb signs, soulmates. Taurus, you saying you just can't take this no more? You do. This is way too much for you. You've been working at it. You've been putting in all your energy. You've been communicating with them. You know that they're your soulmates. And you know you you don't want to you don't want to leave be without them. Yeah, you don't want to be without them because you love them. Okay, so Taurus, you guys can work this out. Is this seven of swords jealousy? Yeah, this is jealousy. That you, you, Taurus, you is either you are you jealous of someone else that you thinking is taking your pardon, your Virgo's attention. They seem to be fair because you you really don't know if that's the truth. You don't know if that's the truth for sure, they saying. But you stand in your ground regardless. But you're going to realize you really do love your Virgo. So, yeah, and you want to keep the family together. You don't want to work. You really don't want to walk out. You want to, you guys need to just start over. Just not start over, but renewal. Like like the card said at the beginning, see? You could forgive. It, does, it didn't say no one had an affair, but it did say you might be jealous of someone. Taurus, you might be jealous. You think this person, you think this, this, this person has more than what you have, or uh, more skills, or, yeah, but um, Spirit says stop talking about it, it's dead, <laughs> it's dead, see, <laughs> they say that, that's dead, but they do want you to work on your marriage, put more fire in it, more nurturing, more love. Wow. More passion, they say. What's the moon? What's the moon? Go on more dates. Make them happy. They saying for you guys to do what makes you guys happy. Okay? Do what makes you happy. Okay, Spirit. One more thing. 
What is this page of wands? Okay. So. All right, this page of wands. There's some adventure you guys might be focusing on. Maybe a trip. They saying not to go overboard. Keep your eyes open um, concerning this trip. Okay. Um, they saying you you might go overboard with the spinning. All right. Now, I, I do see a lot of healing. I do see you guys making it work this month. I do see a lot of love, a lot of giving, a lot of nurturing, a lot of passion. And um, there is going to be a lot of celebration this month, maybe because it's, it's um, February the 14th. But your person, you guys are going to have a lot of fire this month. A lot of fire in your relationship, like a lot of passion. You're going to go off and see, they keep saying it, a lot of passion. You guys are more like twin flames than soulmates. That's what they say. So you, you guys can kind of read each other's mind or know what the other is going to say before they say it. Yep, you guys are going up to higher things. New things are, are going to are, um, are going to happen at the end of the month. Um, they they saying to work your goals, plant your seeds now, so they can blossom later. Okay, I do see something coming. Maybe you you want to go on a trip, or maybe you want to get married in April. Around Taurus's birthday. And saying that's good. That will be a good time. Okay. They saying they have fun. But don't go overboard. Somebody. See. <clears throat> don't drink and drive. Somebody keeps partying too hard. Who is that? <laughs> Excuse me. All right, Virgo and Taurus, I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget, hit the button on the right to subscribe, give us a like, share the video special with each other. I love you guys, and I am Zen, the Moongada, and I'm out.